Fristam Pumps is a leading manufacturer of high-quality sanitary stainless steel pumps, blenders, and mixers. 857 and 858 seal replacement. Before beginning, follow your company's lockout tagout procedure. Reference the maintenance manual to find additional safety precautions, tool sizes, torque values, and technical information at www.fristam.com USA. Note, when replacing any seal part, it is important that all seal wear parts are replaced to ensure seal integrity. Tools needed. Soft faced hammer, 3 8 inch rod, 24 millimeter socket with ratchet, food grade lubricant, denatured alcohol in soft cloth, O-ring pick, optional. Disassembly. Loosen the cover star nuts with a soft faced hammer and remove them. Remove the cover and discard the cover O-ring. Remove the flange guard. Place a 3 8 inch rod in the shaft hole to stop shaft rotation. Use a 24 millimeter socket with ratchet to remove the impeller nut. Discard the impeller nut gasket. Remove the 3 8 inch rod. Remove the impeller. Remove and discard the impeller O-ring. Compress the seal and remove the impeller key. Remove the rotating seal assembly and discard it. Remove the stationary seal assembly and discard it. Double seal only. Remove the flush seal and discard it. Remove the flush seal spring and discard it. Seal replacement. Double seal only. Install the flush seal spring behind the shaft pins. Lubricate and install the flush seal O-ring into the flush seal. Install the double seal onto the shaft. Making sure to align the seal notches with the shaft pins. Lubricate and install the stationary seal O-ring onto the stationary seal.
double seal only. Install a second O-ring into the additional groove. Install the stationary seal into the housing, making sure to align flats on the seal with the flats on the housing. Lubricate and place the rotating seal O-ring inside the rotating seal. Place the seal washer into the rotating seal. Install one end of the seal spring into the rotating seal, making sure that the tab of the spring is in the slot on the rotating seal. Lubricate and place the inner seal driver O-ring inside the seal driver. With one end of the spring already in the slot of the rotating seal, install the tab on the other end of the spring into one of the holes in the seal driver. Install the rotating seal assembly onto the shaft. Compress the seal and install the impeller key. Lubricate and install the outer seal driver O-ring. Pump reassembly. Slide the impeller onto the shaft, making sure to align the keyway in the impeller with the key in the shaft. Lubricate the impeller nut gasket and place it onto the impeller nut. Thread the impeller nut onto the shaft. Place a 3 8 inch rod in the shaft hole to stop shaft rotation. Use a socket with a torque wrench and tighten the impeller nut to proper torque. Remove the rod. Lubricate and install the cover gasket onto the cover. Install the cover. Install the cover star nuts and tighten them with a soft faced hammer. Replace the shaft guard. The pump is now ready to be placed back into service.